And here we are in my studio, also my music room, as you can see by some of the collectibles sitting around. Well, that's not music. Anyway, I am Denny. Actually, I am Denny of Vinyl Signs, and I'm going to show you an overview of my vinyl collection, uh, just the pop and rock section. So here we go. See, there's lots of posters on the wall celebrating the different bands that I enjoy. And a lot of vinyl along here. And as you can see, I have my vinyl stored uh, facing forward. A lot of people that have uh, much larger collections uh, like to store theirs uh, in sideways. You get a lot more in, in that way. But I like in this way. It's just so much easier for me to flip through and find, you know, exactly what I want. And, and also I, I have the, uh, the dividers with the, the titles of the, of the different, uh, artists and bands. And we start over here. We have a flock of seagulls, an Aerosmith here in the A section and Alan Parsons, Amy Grant, April Wine, Asia. And then I finish my sections with, uh, just the letter. So, Everything back here starts with A, but I just have like one or maybe two albums of that artist. And then on we go to the Bs, where we have the B-52s. And next is the Beach Boys, which continues over here. And the Beach Boys and Beatles, as you see behind, along with the Rolling Stones, are what I have the most of next to Rush. Rush, I have a little over 30 albums, I think. And of uh, the Beach Boys... Beatles and Rolling Stones, I have 18 albums each. And after the Beatles, I have my Billy section with Billy Idol, Billy Joel, and Billy Squire. Then we move on to Black Sabbath in the back. Over here, we have Blondie, Boston, Brian Setzer, Bruce Springsteen, and then the B section. Then we move on to the C's with Carol King, the Cars, Cheap Trick, The Clash, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Culture Club. That's right, Culture Club. Everybody's got to have a little bit of Culture Club. Get a little culture in your life. And here we go. And, and then it finished with the C section. That's pretty good, huh? The C section. And into the, the D's with the Doors, and and then just the D section itself, Echo and the Bunnymen, Electric Light Orchestra, Elton John, the E section, then into the S with the Fix, Fleetwood Mac, Foreigner, and the F section. Moving over to the Ds, we have Devo, and yes, I've got a Disney section. Right now it only has two two items in it. I keep moving around here. You can't see things very well. But eventually I'll have more as I add to it. And it's going to be primarily um, movie soundtracks of the animated movies, kind of uh, uh, sentimental, kind of looking back kind of thing for me. Plus, I've got a seven-year-old who's uh, into those kind of movies. Next, we have Genesis, The Go-Go's. That's right, The Go-Go's. I've got quite a bit of uh, new wave stuff. I was in high school during that whole new wave uh, period, so I really like a lot of the new wave stuff. Although, as you will see uh, in as uh, videos come along, that my favorite band is Rush. As I mentioned earlier, I've got over 30 of their albums. And on we go to uh, Gordon Lightfoot, The Grateful Dead, and then finish the G's. And then in the H, we've got Holland Oates and Huey Lewis. Then Joan Jett, Joe Jackson, John Cougar Mellencamp, or just John Cougar or just John Mellencamp, depending on what era of his career you're looking at. Journey and then finishing the J's in back. 
Moving over to the K's, we've got Kansas and the Kinks, and then the K section, Led Zeppelin, Lover Boy, and I don't have any just L sections, I don't have any miscellaneous L's. And then uh, Minute Work, Michael Jackson, Missing Persons, The Monkees, The Motels, and the M section. The N section, there's not much in here. There's no doubt. I've recently got some uh, Neil Young that I'll be adding to that soon, but for right now, it's just the one album. And then the O section, I have one Olivia Newton-John album, and I don't have any O's that I'll be adding to that anytime soon. Moving on, we've got Paul McCartney, Paul Simon, Petra, Pat Benatar, The Police, Prince, and the P and Q sections. Not much in there, but we'll be adding to it. And here uh, is the Rolling Stones section. As I mentioned, I've got uh, 18 albums of theirs, including a few uh, compilations. And then the uh, finishing off the R with the R section. Then Saga, Simon and Garfunkel, Steely Dan, Steve Miller, Stray Cats, Sting, Sticks, and the S at the end. Over here, we've got Tom Petty and the T section. We have U2, Van Halen, The Ventures, W, Yes, and ZZ Top. And that finishes off my overview of my vinyl collection in the pop and rock section. And I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, comment down below if you like. And also like, like the video if you like. And hope you have a good day and I will talk at you later.